And, uh, and Kevin, obviously, you're like not just a stand up, you're like a stand up superstar. You sell yeah. out arenas Thank all you. over the world. The best of our time. Right? Yeah. 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 Of our time. Yeah. yeah. Nothing but thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And, but. What's nice to know is it mm. wasn't always like that. Mm. Oh, no. The, like, no. Uh, what, did, what, was it, what did you perform? You performed at a seafood festival? I mean, which, <laughs> which shit show you want to know about? That <laughs> <laughs> time zone. It was only, I think they wanted, was it crab? I had a, I had a crab fest. That <laughs> <laughs> what? Crab fest? Listen, what is you, that? In the beginning of the stand-up comedy, <laughs> you're, not, you're not performing in, in luxury, you know, venues. Mm. They, wherever they feel that they can build the stage and make Money is where you're going. So there was a crab fest. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, we're gonna book some talent. Book some comedian talent. And I was like, all right, well, you know, I'm available. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to tell a joke while people cracking crabs. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the best environment. You know? I mean, literally, the frustration that comes from not being able to open a crab is serious. <laughs> If you're not funny at the same time, the stuff that you hear. I remember hearing a woman, oh an older lady, who was like, she was cracking crack. Because <laughs> this is how you crack crack. <laughs> she was looking at me and she was like, cracking a crack. And I tell a joke and the joke doesn't work. And I remember this lady just going, oh no. <laughs> Much rather be booed. The, dis <laughs> the disappointment that came from her voice and then oh no. She said, baby, it was like, oh no, baby. As, as if I made a mistake with my choice of life. Like, like I'm not doing it wrong. I, I mean, you know, look, the 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 hardship that I went through has helped. I hope build me into the person I am today, where I, I can take so much. But I, I've been through it all. I was I was hit in the face with a buffalo wing. Uh, <laughs> I performed at a. Don't perform a, around food. No, no, come on. When we go to my shows now, there's no food a lot. <laughs> It was a, it was a it was actually a male strip club that they oh shut gosh. down for comedy for the first half. So it was like it was a bunch of it was ladies in there and you know it was just supposed to be us performing for these women that were riled up. First thing I got on stage when they introduced me and this lady was like, pull it out. I said, hey, 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 hey. That's not me. I'm not here for that. I'm here to entertain. These are jokes. I, I know who's got kids. I start, I start trying to merge into kid material. And there's one dude from the back. I just remember this dude from the back. He was like, that's enough. And he just, he just threw a buffalo wing at me. And it landed, hit me, hit me in the cheek, a little bit of sauce, got like right here. Buffalo sauce is hot, so I start. I assumed that it was a woman with a deep voice, so I was like, who threw it? Who threw it? Because at the end of the day, I'm a man. I'm a man first. Don't disrespect me. <laughs> he stood up. He was like, I did it. And I, I contemplated just taking my clothes off. I was like, that's <laughs> the only way to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. I collect, yeah, well, I, I collect um, stuff from movies uh, that, some of the stuff, uh, movies I've done, but really mainly Star Trek memorabilia, because I love Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> Such a nerd. <laughs> have, you never been in, have you never been in a Star Trek? No, I've never been in a Star Trek, but I love the original series, so I have, oh, okay. like, I have the Gorn head from the original series from the episode arena where... Like, they know what... I know, I'm just... I'm, like, I'm just nodding. Oh, the Gorn head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's the Gorn head. Okay. I have... <laughs> I have... What the f*** is a Gorn head? <laughs> What the Gorn is? The Gorn from Star yes. Trek? We're going to give you the Gorn head. No. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Do you have any of the boulders? Do you have any of the boulders? I don't have any of the, the light boulders yeah, made yeah, out of yeah, paper mache. No, yeah. but I have Spock's ears from. from oh, yeah. oh, they actually, yeah. not they are. Yeah, they're worth yeah. Yeah, yeah, we know what they are. They're worth collecting. Yeah, very good. Uh, but on Bridesmaids, you did do a lot of kind of proper bonding on Bridesmaids. Didn't you, didn't you like party nights and stuff? We th we did a pre. Um, was a pre. My, the, my co writer, Annie, and I had the idea to get all the girls together. Plus the script supervisor, wardrobe, just all like the women on the There's film like to bond. Forty. There I were a lot say. of people. Forty women. Well, yeah. It was it was pitched to me as research, <laughs> because initially there was a scene where we went to a gentleman's entertainment yeah parlor. <laughs> a strip club. A strip club. Or a guy's strip, a strip club. Oh, a guy's strip club. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So we we got in a we got a party bus. 
with a lot of alcohol. <laughs> with like a, a lot of booze, weird poles, which I was always like, is that to hang on oh. or dance? Did it have the disco lights in the bus? Oh, yeah. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, yeah. and then we went to, we went to a strip club. Um, and <laughs> we did watched vin- the show. They did vignettes. They did vignettes. Uh, which it was there was not like backdraft. Yeah, and, like, it wasn't that. They would all come out and like yeah. firemen stuff, and then it was like, <laughs> bang, like everything had the same theme, and everything involved. It seemed like every number had a duster. <laughs> like, everything had a long trench coat to the floor. A lot of equipment. <laughs> but they did. Do, do, you the, do you remember the uh, the Matrix? The Matrix one. Yeah. There was somebody was playing Neo. <laughs> Wonderfully. <laughs> and, uh, there was a lot of long trenches and guys in suits, and everybody had these very cheap glasses on. But I couldn't figure out the one guy had a huge, huge, thick rope around his waist, and I was like, I have not seen the Matrix in a while. I couldn't figure out. Do you remember? Yes. Couldn't, we were all like, what's the rope about? I don't remember a rope in the Matrix. And they're like doing these synchronized dancing, and it's like all this clothes is coming off. And we're like, put it on. <laughs> and it went on and on. I'm so like, I don't get what the rope is about. And then the big move comes where, you know, the bullets come and he does like the back bend. Clearly, this professional dancer <laughs> could not do a back bend. So, so the big it. move was like, all of a sudden, it's like, Ooh, and somebody off stage is clearly holding the rope. <laughs> Up as he was like, go! <laughs> and that was my, that was, yes. I, that was like a stand up moment. A lot of themes. A lot of themes, lot of themes guys. Yeah. And now, uh, Saturday Night Live also was a, a big bonding thing. Now, because, Kristen, do you know Leslie and Kate? Kate, 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 We met. I think we met when I Mastermind. hosted. Oh, no, we, and we did a movie together. Um, then we worked together after that. After that, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, that but now you guys are still in Saturday Night Live, which you, I, yeah. most people I'm sure know, but it's a, it's a big comedy sketch show in, in America. But how long, you, we worked together for how many years now? It's been two. <laughs> after one, right? It's been three? Maybe three. I it's been know. three. Um, after the first year, Leslie, and my name is Kate McKinnon, and she, uh, <laughs> I know that, but uh, she, she came up to me and she said, um, after a year of knowing me, um, how, you all right, Kate Middleton? <laughs> and were you joking? Uh, no, I was not. And, <laughs> and I was like, McKinney, I was like, well, who's Middleton then? She was like, a princess bitch? <laughs> I, like, I like that name. <laughs> Middleton. I think she's awesome. Oh. Her hair is awesome. <laughs> and, and Kate, you did, awesome some, you did some great characters on Saturday Night Live. Your Justin oh, Bieber. You. Your Justin Bieber is spookily accurate. Thank you so Look much. at that. Incredible. Like, yes, that is incredible. Yeah. Thank you so and did much. You, you've done it in front of him, haven't you? I have not. Oh, you haven't? I have not breached oh. the wall <laughs> yet. Um, I met him before, because he hosted SNL once, and then uh, that was before I started doing an impression of him. But I was so struck by how how this was before he got really beefy for those Calvin Klein ads, and now he looks like, you know, a big beefcake. But um, um, he was really, he was very delicate and a very tender, beautiful, just so, such a beautiful face <laughs> and such a big, big hat. <laughs> and such big clothes and just the most beautiful. And I, I am a huge fan of his and I love it. <laughs> now, you have, a special way of, uh, you have a special way of preparing the face, haven't you? Yes. Um, Yes, you you want to look as though you've done something wrong, but like. I <laughs> 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 very good. So now, how old are you now? Uh, I'm 77, and uh, oh, don't app- uh, they, they, I bet, oh, don't. All that. I think they applaud because they know they're going to live longer than me. You know, they go, oh, good. Oh. In New York, they applaud because that means there'll be a new apartment on the market soon. <laughs> I hate when people say, like, um, oh, they're 77 years young. I met Vanessa, uh, Vanessa Feltz, oh, and yeah. she said to me, here's Joan, she's 77 years young, and I want to say, and here's Vanessa, and she's 350 pounds thin. Oh. <laughs> Age 
sucks, and you have to face it. And you have these, I've been on this show with some of these older women that still try to look good. No yeah. names, Goldie Hawn. And, and <laughs> she's my friend, and she says to me, would you believe I got a grown-up daughter? And you go, yes! <laughs> and lower your skirt, your nipples are showing. I mean... <laughs> the Goldie Horn booking. <laughs> no, but it, age sucks, and you gotta face it. <laughs> but it, it's interesting, because America is really so youth-obsessed. I mean, how... Oh. And, and, and in the film, you show, you know, kind of, that it is hard for a woman of your age to get the jobs. It's beyond difficult. The only jobs really left now for women, unless they get friendly with people to do films. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> The only jobs left are really commercials. I just thank God, my, I made my yearly nut this year on a, a product called Girly, which is for dry vagina. And it's a... <laughs> is it here yet? <laughs> well, anyone knows the heartbreak of dry vagina. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was perfect for it. I, camels follow me home. <laughs> <laughs> Three Jewish men are trying to rent my uterus instead of going to Miami. <laughs> but, and there's... But thank God for these commercials. There's one called... An, uh, uh, Zestra, has that come here yet? <laughs> It's like women's uh, Viagra. Has that happened here yet? It's women's Viagra. And uh, they had this big discussion with me. Should they make it in pill form? This is honest to God truth. It was in the newspapers. Pill form or cream? Because uh, they didn't know which would do better. And they finally decide these idiots will do it in cream because if it's in pill form in a bar, a man can drop it in a woman's drink and oh. she won't know it. But if you're in a bar and a guy goes, so where are you from? <laughs> I'm up for that commercial, too. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you when you did become... You really, you really were a blue coat, weren't you? I was a blue coat, yeah, at the place you showed, which was next door to Hesham Nuclear Power Station. <laughs> the thing is, I got sent there because I was... I worked at a really good one in, in Yarmouth, Great Yarmouth, got sacked, which is another story, and then uh, was sacked and then and what, was what? sent to... We'll move on to that in a minute. <laughs> but, uh, you sent to this one? Sent to that one as a sort of punishment. It was like a... You, you're going to Morecambe to do six months. Because you have just... You've just done something which... Chicken. What had you, you know, done? Well, something that was considered cheeky in the 70s, but now is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Uh, no, yes, it. It, it was actually an incident where... It was my first attempt at stand-up comedy. And uh, what happened was I, I'd always wanted to do stand-up comedy. I didn't have the guts to do it. I got very drunk. I had a go at doing it as a blue coat. My mate said to me, just copy all the other comedians at Pontins and steal their jokes and basically talk to the front row. So you're supposed to say, where are you from? They say, Scotland. You say, who paid for your holiday? Where are you from? Wales. You make a noise like a sheep. Rubbish jokes, right? <laughs> but I said, that's terrible. He said, don't worry, you're just padding. What you're doing is you're looking for comedy gold, which is, where are you from? They say, Kent. And you say, what did you call me? Right? <laughs> now, at Pontins, this used to take the roof off, right? <laughs> So I tried it, but I was very drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so I go on stage and I say, where are you from? This bloke says, Scotland. I can't remember the joke. <laughs> I say, hello. <laughs> then I said to the, where are you from? The guy says, Wales. I black out and I go, hi. <laughs> I panic. <laughs> and then I say, Anyone in from Kent? <laughs> <laughs> and this bloke shouts out, me. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, <laughs> Well, you're a.
Stop. <laughs> so I'm... <laughs> so I'm sent to Morecambe. End these things with, I yeah. swear to God, that's a true story. But yeah. well, that is the bait of how it works. <laughs> Before we do another thing, uh, we loved you as the genie in Aladdin. Oh, that was fun. So we thought we might have our very own genie on the show tonight. Yeah. So uh, is there anyone in the audience who fancies a go at being a genie? <laughs> oh, look at them, they do. Okay, try, try you. Uh, what, what, what's your name? Ewan. Sorry, what? Ewan. Ewan. <laughs> His name is Ewan. <laughs> Ewan! Nice to have you here! Thank you. No, no worries. Great to hear you. Tell me. He's quite frightening. I uh, know. <laughs> don't okay. piss off Ewan. OK, so Ewan, don't think of a magic word, right? Something, you know, it's just you, magic word, and that camera three is going to do a kind of zoom crash on you. So, so when I say go, you, the, the, and you'll just do your magic word. OK, so Ewan, go. Hi, Graham. <laughs> I feel like we're in the middle of a telethon right now. <laughs> you and has learned to say hi, Graham, thanks to your dollars. <laughs> Please help. <laughs> we'll learn another phrase by the end of the show. <laughs> yes. Should we, should we try another boy? Oh, 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 actually, you're wearing blue already. Let's try you. Yeah? OK. So into that camera, your magic world. What's your name? Nick. Gnick. OK. <laughs> uh, a friend of you in it. <laughs> OK. Gnick. Number three. And go. Alakazam! <laughs> wow! Whoa. It, it, was almost, it was almost too good. It was a bit like, you're, you're very good at that. Yeah. <laughs> Alakazam! <laughs> Time to dance now! <laughs> I'm gonna dance with you and, and Gnick! <laughs> On Alakazam! <laughs> jazz hands, jazz hands, jazz paws! <laughs> Way to go, Gnick! <laughs> Gnick, go! OK, go, go, go. Follow the follow the way. There you go, Gnick. There you go. So, uh, I'm just going to get my genie to help me. OK, hang on. Oh, yes! Because uh, I forgot all about poor creature. Oh. OK, come on, Nick. Good, Nick. Good. Oh, there he is! Yes! Yay! Uh, ready? I need, I need a lovely funky DJ console, please. <gasps> Alakazam! Oh! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Good work, good work, Nick. Okay, I tell you what, Nick, you you can come back into the studio. Come back to the studio. You can help us in this thing. Okay, there you go. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> So great. Yeah, right, I'm not <laughs> floating anymore. Thank you. OK, we go over here to the DJ booth. Right, right here we go, here we go. It's the, it's the Robin and Graham Road Show. Hello, job, sir. Oh, do, oh, it's gloves. OK, gloves. you go over there now. Well done. So there's a mic there. Now, Nick, well, I've got some music. Nick, but... put a shout-out right now. Nick, give it out for the blue people. Nick, gonna keep it real. <laughs> Get ready for an Alakazam. Alakazam! <laughs> yeah! Oh! Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, I've got a mini jingles on it. So it's the Robin and Graham Road Show. Can, can you do a jingle, a live jingle for us? Welcome to the Robin and Graham Radio Show! Nicely done. Woo! Very good. Let's back with a big shout out for Nick. Okay, uh, let's, let's start the show. So, uh, good evening, Robin. Good evening, good Robin. evening, Graham. Welcome back. Once again, we got some shout outs. I got one going out right now to Stephen Buck. He wants to shout out to Jess, who's a best friend, and he says, Stop texting him. He's not interested. Yay! You're listening to the Robin and Graham Road Show. Alkazam! No, you tit the jingle. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the Robin and Graham Radio Show! Yay! Where's, where's Michelle Smith? Where's Michelle Smith? Michelle Smith wants a shout out to Esther, best friend. That bloke you pulled. Don't worry about trying to remember his name. You can do so much better. Yow! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Where's Marlon? Marlon? Oh, there he is, there's Marlon. Ready, we're going to say, we'd like to shout out to his friend Gregoire. <laughs> Don't worry, girls love that you have got a third nipple. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh, three nipples. A, B, C, way to go. <laughs> Show it. <laughs> Show it. Show it. Go on, go on. Show the nipple. Go on. Go on. Go on. Come on, little mutant boy. Yes. 
of all, I'm not a circus freak. You want to <laughs> Secondly, I will get my third nipple out on the condition that Robin Williams comes and touches it. <laughs> This better be a real nipple. <laughs> All right, ready? Here we go. Ready? <laughs> ready? Let's see. <laughs> oh, please. please let it be a nipple. <laughs> I have a third ball, too. <laughs> ready? Ready? Here we go. Okay. Oh! Oh! Touch it. I did. Oh, well done, Rob Wow! Wow! wow. Beautiful! Wow! Well done. Chicks really did that. I like that better. I like the fact that some girl's going, you've got another one. <laughs> Play with my third nipple, girl. You've never had fun till you go third. <laughs> Once you touch the third nipple, things get crazy. <laughs> I get two nipples going, but when the third goes, mmm. <laughs> the third nipple goes, and then my fourth penis jumps out. <laughs> I'm like, mmm. Ladies and gentlemen, please thank my guest tonight, the fantastic Mr. Robin Williams. <laughs>